you ever have that moment in life where you think, how did I get here? One day, I was just driving along in my ghost, and then suddenly, the Spartan hijacked me. Hi, my name's Craig. <laughs> oh dear. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today we have the banished ghost, or the hijacked ghost to be specific. Mega Constructs always has a good time with labeling their sets with slightly different alterations to the previous ones so they're not confused. Pelican, Pelican Inbound, Warthog, Warthog Rally, you get the picture. Today we have the hijacked ghost, which in fairness is a lot more than just a name. It actually sets the scene. Even the packaging shows that this Spartan has hijacked the banished ghost and is taking it hostage. She's driving it straight back to the UNSC base, wherever the UNSC base may be. Like, I don't even know what the status of the UNSC is during Halo Infinite. Are they okay? Are they all dead? I mean, like that Ecrium or Esrium or however you say it seems to make out that the UNSC are destroyed. So who knows? But today there is at least one UNSC still standing and he... <laughs> this, this, uh, this review's fallen apart. All right, let's get this thing cleared up and start again. So we've got the Brute and Spartan, and then two Grunts alongside this beautiful Banished Ghost. And this is technically the second Banished Ghost we ever got in Mega Constructs, and it certainly won't be the last, I think. But the first thing I want to do today is just show you these two packagings. Now, this is from the UNSC Mongoose, the Recon Getaway, and the Hijacked Ghost. And I want to just show you the exact parallel of these two boxes. They are basically the same design one small vehicle with a little ambush from the hills from the other enemy team and they just they work so perfectly together they even have the yeah yeah like the packaging's the same it's the same idea it's the same concept and literally why not you've even got the grunt either side shooting the vehicle and then there's only one banished force on the hill in this one there are two marines but are replaced with one spartan in the ghost i just wanted to show you the fun comparison between the two packagings i think it's a really nice touch so here we are the hijacked ghost and I'll start as I mean to go on with these two little grunts. The Grunt Conscript and the Grunt Imperial. And while the Grunt Conscript is really bare and basically the exact same as the Skiff Intercept, it is nice that we get the little banished color on the plasma pistol. He's also just really cute. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. He's very basic in detail, but he doesn't really need to be very detailed. But then there is a lot more to say about the Imperial. I love this little blue ring on his mouthpiece. The red and silver contrast really well on his helmet. And then I've said it before, I love how there are now Mega Construct studs on the back of this. That just adds to like the buildable nature of it. And why not? Why not incorporate Mega Blocks into the actual figures? The skin tones on these are really nice. They make a great duo. We're gonna call them Mike and Moke. <laughs> There are little grunts, and I don't have much else to say about them other than welcome to the memes, guys. You will be forever remembered. I think, I hope eventually there's like a domain Wikipedia with like all the names of these grunts I've given. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. If you hear this and you know how to do that, get on it, guys. Make a Wikipedia with all the grunts. Gruntypedia. Then we've got our Spartan, which, ah, uh, what? Just look at this thing. It's amazing. Spartan Anubis. Anubis is clearly a favorite from the developers of 343. They wanted to include it in Halo Infinite, and it's amazing that it's already in the toy line. It's got an excellent, like, puffed out chest, comes with a black assault rifle, and the green detailing on its helmet particularly stands out to me alongside the bronze visor. It's got different colored bottom limbs. As I've been saying in all my videos, that is a fantastic feature, and the black is excellent. It's got a black jumpsuit, even some little gray details on its chest. It is a very well fleshed out green figure and I am just loving collecting all these metallic green Spartans at the minute and this one is no exception. Maybe this will be head of the fire team. Fire team, Venom, Halo Infinite inspired. And we couldn't forget old Craigie boy in this video. His helmet once removed reveals the demon inside. <laughs> Ah, uh, the internet has not been kind to you. Although maybe the internet has been, I, I don't know, maybe you enjoy the fame. I'm giving you a lot of fame on my videos, do you, do you like the attention? I think he nodded. Yeah, this is, uh, again, a kind of limited brute because Mega Constructs has made the decision in a lot of their sets to only include one piece of armor for each brute. The rest is bare. It 
feels a little cheap, but not really because this is a really cheap set and comes with four figures. So I'm not actually complaining. I'm just pointing out that it is only half of the armor included. Let me know in the comments if that's something that bothers you. Then it comes with the new shock rifle, which is just plain black. All these sets at this price point in Mega Bloks history have always had non-painted weapons, but I don't complain about that at all. And these are, in fairness, four very detailed and epic figures to include in such a cheap set, particularly the Spartan. It definitely stands out. Particularly the Spartan, it definitely stands out from the crowd. And then on to the main event, ladies and gentlemen, this hijacked ghost. I have a lot to say about it, and it's almost all positive. First of all, it is almost the exact same design as the Banshee, and that's great. It's really cool. It comes with firing missiles, which is a nice feature. I'm always a fan of that. And also, these missiles actually fire from the bottom, and the whole thing is elevated by these pins. So if you press hard down on the ghost, Whoa. They just fired off into oblivion. They will shoot for miles. And they also come with four spare pins, which is great. It's nice that, you know, it's it's a, it's a feature made for kids. So it's great that they include enough for those missiles to just be lost all around the house. This piece I also found to be particularly interesting. You can insert it anywhere on this grid. I'm not sure why you would insert it in different places, but you've got the choice. And then I love these little light details. The fins rotate a little too far, like pretty much all the way around. So I found an easy way to fix that because I don't enjoy that. If we take this piece and this, attach them together, this sticks out and it makes sure that the whole thing can't rotate round, which is way better for me. Details are pretty limited on this side. I really want Mega Constructs to try and make more jutted out leg pieces to sort of like support the feet of the figure. These discs are all right. It also has a steering wheel, which is movable. The back is also pretty simplistic, though nice and smoothed off. And then it comes with one one of these translucent pieces that sort of levitates it off the ground ever so slightly. It's also nice to compare this ghost directly to this massive one that came out just recently as well. I also did a review of this ghost on the channel, and during that review I showcased just how much this thing falls apart, but this one is reflective of what the Mega Constructs ghost could achieve in the future with more designs. For example, these firing pieces could be a lot more detailed, they could add scratch marks all along this ghost and they could have some kind of support system to attach any different figures inside including foot pedals and movable single piece handlebars. A lot of those things they're quite difficult to incorporate into a tiny little ghost like this. That aside this is a fantastic little ghost and comes with four figures for a super low price point and is 2021's best way to army build your banished forces. What else is the to say other than get out and buy this set guys you won't regret it this was another video with the domain it was a short one but this is a short set just a small guy and i also hope you enjoyed the snap build of this vehicle you should definitely check that video out as always have a great day stay safe and just be awesome to yourself and your neighbors the anubis spartan whoa my camera <laughs> and the anubis spartan is signing off <laughs>